Hi everyone, Richard here. Welcome back to Curriculum Mapping with G Suite. At its core, Curriculum Mapping with G Suite is a centralized strategy for managing all of your curriculum documents. And I've been thinking about the next phase of this project and I've starting to look into the managing of the more day-to-day -day pieces. In other words, sort of the creation of Google Classrooms and pushing out topics, inviting guardians and co-teachers and developing a strategy to give teachers their time back. So I'd like to demonstrate a, a proof of concept uh, in a way that could work hand in hand with the curriculum mapping with G Suite in creating Google Classrooms and uh, course content. So here we go. So everything is, is done through a, a Google Sheet um, and there will be several tabs here along the, bo the bottom so I can just kind of walk you through uh, what happens with, with each of them. So in this first sheet is the one that will create the Google Classrooms, right? So this will just simply provision the class to the teacher who is supposed to be teaching that class and provide some details about that class. So I can come here and click Create Google Classrooms. So the script will run and it will provision those classes. There we go. So the classrooms have been created. Um, and if we actually log in as teacher one, I think I have teacher one parked over here, we can see now you're invited to teach this class created by your administrator. Do you wish to decline or accept? So um, the students don't see any of this until uh, the class has been uh, accepted. So this is just kind of, this would be in this teacher's uh, Google Classroom for their classes. Now the next thing we would want to do for the teachers is add their students to their classes. So again, we would slide over here, you know, the next tab has all of the, the students and the status. So I've, I've done a few of these, but the script will now iterate through the rest of the sheet, adding the fourth graders uh, to their classes. And in this case, I'm just using the same sample students over and over. Now I can click on the Add Students option, and this will iterate through this Google Sheet, adding students to all of their respective classes. And there you have it. So if we return to Teacher 1, we now see that there are three students uh, in each class, which matches students 1, 2, and 3 that are distributed throughout these fourth grade classrooms. Um, so that's great. Um, and the next thing we need to do is we'd want to be able to add sort of an admin window into each of these classrooms. So by doing that, we can simply add a, a co-teacher that is a, a service account. So I created a, a simple classroom admin service account. And the only role of this account is simply to um, give admin access to the Google Classrooms to kind of um, go in and observe how they're doing, but also to the ability to be able to um, add content from the classroom administrator. Because as a super admin, and again, you would need to be the super admin in your domain to do this, but um, the super admin cannot add content or topics directly to the classroom. They need to be a teacher. So by making this classroom admin a co-teacher of every class, uh, you'd be able to push out content into all of the classroom or announcements or things of that nature. So let's go ahead and add the... Um, classroom admin account. I'm just going to drag down the same address because this is the the account that will be the admin. And I'm going to go ahead and do add co-teachers and admins. Perfect. 
So now we have uh, added the code teacher or the administrator. So I'm going to come here. And I'm actually going to accept just one of these classes. Uh, I'll select the 4A. So if I click on the people tab, I notice now I have the teacher here, the Google Classroom admin account, and all of the students. So now if I the next step would be then to invite any of the guardians. Um, so in this case, what I would need to do, I've already sent invitations to these fictional students, one, two, and three, but the same concept would apply. I would have all of the students in column A, one guardian in column B, their email address, and then a status column, and then it would repeat. And I have a second tab for the second guardian. And if there isn't a second guardian, it'll simply skip that cell and put no address uh, found in the status column. Um, and then the last piece would be this topics piece. And like I had said before, the super admin cannot push out topics. So I would share this spreadsheet with the Google Classroom admin account, and that account could then run the script to distribute topics. Now, because I haven't accepted all of those Google Classrooms, the script will fail because the classroom has to have been accepted before the topics can be pushed out. But it, again, it's the same process to have a status column, and then the script will iterate through the topics and add them to the corresponding uh, Google Classroom. So I hope you, you like this idea, and I'm going to continue on building this out. Um, with some supplemental documentation. So thanks for watching. Bye.